We all love a clean bathroom, but none of us actually like to clean the toilet ourselves. Most household cleaning products are alkaline, but these hard water stains actually need an acid such as vinegar to dissolve them, and I'm about to explain why. I'm also going to show you my favourite way to use the vinegar, which is inside the toilet tank, so I'm taking the lid off so I can pour the vinegar into the cistern itself, where I'm going to leave it to dwell for about an hour before flushing it through the system, softening all of those hard water deposits so I'm able to scrub them off. That's also going to clear down mould, bacteria and any gunk that's inside the tank itself. So I'm pouring about 750 mils, which is three cups in American measures of vinegar into the toilet tank. I'm now breaking off some litmus paper so I can test the toilet bowl water pH and the pH in the cistern so I can show you the difference between the two. The pH paper I'm dipping into the toilet bowl is coming back slightly green, which means it's very, very slightly alkaline, roughly about pH 8, possibly heading towards 9. The deposits in the toilet bowl itself, lime scale, are actually alkaline also, so that's why we need to use an acid to dissolve them. Measuring then the pH in the cistern where I've poured the vinegar earlier, I'm coming back with a orangey sort of reddy colour, which indicates to me that we have a pH of somewhere around four. When I flush the toilet, it's going to bring all that acidified water down through the system and into the bowl itself, covering the lime scale that's around the bowl and actually filling the bottom of the bowl where you can see all that nasty crud that really needs the acid to be in contact with it to dissolve it and clean it out. Measuring the pH, we're still sitting at about three to four, the toilet is completely acidified and I can start to scrub. The great thing about using vinegar here is we're actually relying on cleaning chemistry to perform a function for us. The principles of cleaning are chemical, heat, agitation and time. It doesn't matter if you're cleaning a toilet or a carpet, the same principles apply. Obviously we're not going to be using heat, but we are using time, chemical and agitation. The brush is providing the agitation, the dwell time is providing obviously the time and the chemical, the vinegar or the acid is providing a low pH which is dissolving the lime scale deposits. On the subject of pH and its importance in cleaning, if you've made it this far into the video you've obviously found some sort of resonance with me cleaning a fucking toilet and look I get it we all have our vices but look how understanding pH has cleaned this toilet for me. So please watch this video on pH and how important it is for cleaning. It took me 70 hours to make it, nobody's watching it but it's really good.